King Solomon wrote in Ecclesiastes 9.11, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong. In 1986, the New York City Marathon was run, 26 miles long, about 42 kilometers. And the top 25 runners all ran that distance under two hours and 19 minutes. The winner was an Italian, uh, Gianni Poli, and he won it in two hours and 11 minutes. Uh, but perhaps the greatest feat that, that was performed that day was by the man who actually came in last. His name is Bob Whelan. It took him about 98 hours to finish. The fact is that Bob has no legs. He completed the 26 miles using only his arms and his torso. He was in the Vietnam War and going to rescue a buddy. He stepped on a mortar round which are designed to blow up tanks. And uh, from the hospital, he wrote a letter to his parents. And it simply said, Dear Mom and Dad, I'm in the hospital. Everything is going to be okay. The people here are taking good care of me. Love, Bob. P.S. I think I lost my legs. This man actually made his way all the way across America to raise funds using only his hands, his arms, and his torso. He went into the Ironman Marathon in Hawaii and actually finished the only double amputee to do it without any AIDS. And um, as I thought about this, he's spoken of as the most encouraging man in America and so on. Um, as I thought about this, you know, Matthew, Mark, and Luke all agree that the Lord Jesus said, many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. Now, Solomon, he thought the reason that the battle isn't always won by the strong and the race isn't always won by the swift is because, as he said, time and chance happens to all. Life is a bit of a crapshoot. Nobody really knows who's going to get the the benefits, who's going to get the advantage. But the Lord Jesus had something very different in mind. He was saying that in life, uh, those who consciously seek the Lord's will, those who consciously put others before themselves, those who consciously live every day with their eye on heaven rather than on earth, they actually are going to come out on top. As he said, the meek shall inherit the earth. And people mock that. They think it's the hard-nosed, selfish, hard-driving people that make it to the top. But Jesus explained that the world is upside down because of sin. And people who think they're going to the top are going to the bottom. It's people who are humbling themselves that are going to actually end up on top. And he himself is the grand example of that. He took the last place. He was the servant of servants. And where is he now? <laughs> as high as you can go. And so that's the path. And so um, when they asked Bob Wheeland about his heroic efforts, he said this, I do it one step at a time. It's done by the grace of God. And so that's the story of all our lives, isn't it? That in our struggles in our marriages, with our children, in our business life. It's not easy. It's not a hundred yard dash. It's a, a long distance marathon. It's a grueling cross country race. And how do we do it? It's one step at a time. And it's this life of faith, taking a step on the promises of God, uh, looking to Jesus who has already finished the race who's crossed the finish line, and he's encouraging us on. And he's telling us, don't be so concerned if the world passes you by, because they're going the wrong direction. Relax. Trust me. Take it one step at a time. By the grace of God. <laughs>